I'm Jason, and I'm here to talk to you about my new obsession. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the wild and wacky world of WWE Wrestling, the realest stage fighting in the world, where grown sweaty men do grown sweaty things. And I'm not talking about the current rubbish, no, I'm talking about real fake wrestling, 90s wrestling. Now, 90s wrestling can basically be summed up by the Shockmaster, who was a wrestler whose only gimmick was that he wore a Stormtrooper helmet covered in glitter. He was birthed to the world, live on air, when he burst through a wall and immediately tripped over on his face, his mask flying across the room. With the added pyrotechnics in the background, it sort of looked like my eighth grade rendition of the Hindenburg. Now, the best part of this is out to crawl halfway across the room, get us out, crawl back, straighten up, mm -mm. Straight tie, get the helmet back on, and then go, I am the shock master. I will be your doom. In a manner that's rather reminiscent on how your date acts super charming as he bends down and grabs the condom that fell out of his wallet. <laughs> now, the thing about 90s wrestlers is that because of all the roids they pumped, they don't tend to live past 50 unless they're Ric Flair. Freaking Ric Flair, man. The guy's approaching 70 now and is yet to fully retire. The nature boy, as he was known 40 years ago, looks like a sad combination of Nicolas Cage and Sean McAuliffe that started melting. Like, the only reason his eternal organs haven't collapsed yet is that we haven't found the canoptic jars therein. Whenever he goes on stage and does his signature, Woo! I swear you can hear his vocal cords collapse. Now, this has led to a bunch of funny jokes about, oh, I wonder what Rick Fowl sounded like as a ghost gag, because woo, woo. <laughs> These jokes are dumb. Why well, no, why? Because the bastard refuses to die. We think he gained his immortality when he won the first Olympics back in 1887, BC. Like, there are scrawlings on cave walls depicting a messiah that's going to lead humanity to a new golden era. And he doth said, Woo! Now, a problem with my new obsession is that no one my age knows what I'm talking about. Like, whenever there's a fight and I go, throw the DDT! Everybody has a look on your life, that's like your face, like, it's a DDT. Are you gonna explain, Jason? Uh, uh, what, what? And that really sucks. Like, the only people who know what I'm talking about are like 30 plus year olds who lived through 90s wrestling and are always super nostalgic. Like, yeah, I remember Big Boss Man and Eddie Guerrero and the Ultimate Warrior. Man, I love those guys. We've got, yeah, I love them all too. They're dead now. Which sort of kills off the conversation. <laughs> now, I've got this one friend who I can talk to about this stuff, and we go nuts. Like, hey, remember British the Bulldog? Screw British the Bulldog. He's dead now, isn't he? Yeah, he's super dead. No, he isn't dead, though. Who? Iron Sheik. Yo, I love Iron Sheik. I will put Ryan Blair into camel clutch. Break his back. Make him humble. Now these are just a couple of the hundreds of golden iron sheet quotes I could get for you. Actually, I can't say most of them here because they all involve my 10 inch cock! Now, as most of you probably know, um, wrestling is basically just a big, big soap opera where all the problems are fixed with violence as opposed to passive aggression, as it should be. But this leads to some interesting comparisons to like wrestlers in real life and wrestlers on screen. Like, Chris Benoit, in real life, committed a double murder-suicide, leading to the WWE stripping him from their archives, but not before a two, rather ill-informed two-hour-long contribution to his memory. Meaning, while Benoit may not exist in the WWE universe, he will live on in our hearts. And Ric Flair, on, um, on screen, is a 70-year-old veteran who talks dirty and plays dirtier, while in real life he's just walking to recover the stolen treasures of his tomb. Now, this has been a pleasure talking to you about wrestling, and I'd like to leave you with a quote that I feel really sums it up. In the words of the Iron Sheik. This is fucking bullshit! And I won't have it any other way. Thank you very much. Jason Tarasi.